anyone who knows me knows that I have no problem telling someone they're wrong. But for the first time oh, in my life, it's week. not so enjoyable. We live in an era of fraud in America, not just in banking, but in government, education, religion, food, even baseball. What bothers me isn't that fraud is not nice or that fraud is mean. It's that for 15,000 years, fraud and short-sighted thinking have never, ever worked. Not once. Jesus, we're at 37. Eventually, we're at 37. people get caught. Like Things go it's south. It's plummeting, man. It's fucking plummeting. When the hell did we forget all that? I thought we were better than this. I really did. And the fact that we're not doesn't make me feel all right and superior. It makes me feel sad. Every time I fucking hit refresh, it's dropping, man. It always goes. goes. And as fun as it is to watch pompous, dumb Wall Streeters be wildly wrong, and you are wrong, sir, I just know that at the end of the day, average people are going to be the ones that are going to have to pay for all of this. Because they always, 32? always do. It's 32. Yeah, it's fucking it's tech, man. That's my two cents. Thank you. I'm drop a deuce at Deutsche. Does our bull have a response? Only that in the entire history of Wall Street, no investment bank has ever failed unless caught in criminal activities. So, yes, I stand by my Bear Stearns optimism. Uh, Mr. Miller, I'm sorry, quick question. From the time you guys started talking, Bear Stearns stock has fallen more than 38%. Would you still buy more? Yeah, sure. Uh, of course I'd buy more. Why not? Boom.